We are now joined by Goichi Yamauchi. Nathan, we'll start with you. Goichi, phenomenal fight. Thank How you. How does it feel to not only fight an idol, but to stop them? Um, it feels amazing. Um, it's a product of uh, hard work and, you know, courage and uh, a lot of dedication not just for this camp but for my entire life of being worked for you know to have this moment and the moment has become this is um, I consider um, a beginning of of an era a beginning of my era beginning of my the best time of my life and um, all I can say is um, thanks for, for everybody that come to watch and everybody that, that helped me to be here, all my my friends, family, sponsors, fans, and and the the Bellator stuff. Are you familiar with the '90s film Gladiator? Because that's all I thought about when I saw you ducking your head uh, <laughs> as he was punched. Yeah, like I said, um, I I'm a very def defensive fighter. I don't get hit in the competition, but I don't know what happened and I, I went to the beast mode and I just wanted to take some shots, you know, make the fight a little bit dramatic, um, big drama show. That's why I like it. Um, I like to, to do in my sparring sessions and um, <laughs> this time I, I didn't fight. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not that much uh, recommended, but <laughs> um, I wanted to do f for this fight and, 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 and worked. trying to give him to punch the top of uh, your head to, uh, to hurt his hand. But um, <laughs> Neiman's fight versus Logan was primarily contested on the feet as well. How much did you study that fight to prepare for this? Well, um, that fight was the one of the only fights that I studied because uh, I knew that it, it wouldn't change that much from that fight. They and they made a, a, a hell of a fight. It was a five rounds battle, uh, two warriors, two absolutely warriors. But um, yeah, um, I watched the fight and I saw that I could, you know, I could see some, I could, I could make Nima uh, make some mistakes and explore that and that's what I did. You said that correctly, you absolutely exploited uh, his mistakes uh, and got the victory. Congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Tyler? Uh, congratulations on the victory. Would you consider this uh, your biggest victory of your career? And what does it mean to have, you know, a victory over Gracie? I know it wasn't by submission, but still it was a beautiful uppercut that kind of finished uh, the fight. 100%. That's one of a you know, not just uh, in, in my career, but one of the most important days of my life. It's very uh, meaningful, being um, such a hell of a fighter. Um, yeah, winning by, by knockout, that, that's what I was planning to do. Um, he's a very um, dangerous uh, grappler. When we collide on the, on the ground, that was like, um, I, 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 you know, I was like, watch out, it's, it's, he's very dangerous. When he was trying to do guard, I, I, I felt that he was dangerous and, um, you know, I was like, let's change the, the plan, let's go to the plan B, let's strike him because I was trying to, to you know, I, I thought I could make us, you know, like, an I, I entire round in the, in the ground, but He's a natural born grappler and he feels very comfortable with his back on the on the on the ground so it makes the the fight a little bit different but um I think um, I adapted the, the the right the right strategy I think fight is a you know crazy business you have to you, you, you don't you can't have a plan to fight a guy like Neiman you just uh, have to adapt your, your, your style, your, your game during the fight, and that's, uh, that's what I did. Uh, 
and just what what does it mean to you to uh, to move up to welterweight and uh, and now you're kind of thrown in this in this like very talented division. So so what are your thoughts on this division now? Because you just beat number five, so you know you're definitely be in the top ten for sure. Um, yeah. Um, I moved up twice here in my belt or career was 145 to 155 and then now to welterweight um they're you know they're both um um uh, good and excited weight classes there's a lot of top fighters I, I i think the best fighters are probably in in lightweight and a welterweight so um yeah i'm 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 really excited i think uh, this is uh this is the real you know my 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 real weight class i feel so good powerful strong and with a lot of energy so um i'm happy to be competing this weight class hope it, you know i fight all these top fighters above me um there's a lot of good fighters we have uh, jackson uh Storley. we have uh, the champion so it's a very excited uh, division Dylan, congratulations! When you're now the only, the first and only man to ever finish Neiman Gracie. You spoke to me earlier this week about how relaxed you felt all week. Anything you did in specific that calmed your nerves that had you uh, feeling so relaxed prior to this fight? I think you, you know, I, I think I, I built my my confidence through this this all this this years all for, through through the, all my career. Confidence is not is not a thing you know that you can you can get overnight. It's something that you have to build every day. And it's not much about um, training sessions. Um, I always talk talk about it with my with my coach. It's a, it's about the man you become, and that's uh, make me uh, you know a very confident and, and powerful man. I'm, I'm you know I'm still learning. I'm still I still feel that I don't know that much, and that makes me uh, grow and. That makes me a, a better man. That's what I'm doing, trying to do every day. And the second you landed that uppercut, did you know that the fight would be finished right then and there? Um, yeah. Um, we go, you know, to the pilot mode when we are fighting. We just uh, we want to finish the fight as fast as fast as possible. So um, in the first in the first round, I I I got him with the with the good with the good. Um, left hand but it was just a you know a knockdown and I couldn't I couldn't finish but in the second round when the, when I when it, when, it, when when I when I threw that that the uppercut I felt that he's you know he was he was done because he, he was was too uh, his body just you know just dropped too too fast and I was like yeah this this is going to be the end of the fight and lastly, you mentioned uh, Logan Storley, Jackson, a few other welterweight competitors. Is there any specific fighter that you would like to stand opposite the cage from next? Uh, no, 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 not exactly. Not exactly. I just, um, I just want to fight. You know, one of one of these guys. It would be amazing to fight uh, uh, Storley. Uh, I love his uh, his style. He's a he's a he's a hell of a fighter. A very good grappler and. Um, it looks like he has a lot of uh, a gas tank. He like to to go to war. That's the kind of fight that I like. So uh, it will be a it will be a good matchup. It will be an honor for me to 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 be competing against the the the, the champ Storley. And after such a big win like this, do you plan to take some time away, spend some time with uh, friends and family, or are you looking to get back in there, and get another fight before the end of 2022? Um. Yeah, I want to fight once again this year. Uh, hopefully, in the in the end of the year. So I'm just um, just gonna take some days off. Not not of it's not it's not a physical thing. It's just a you know a, a mental thing. Uh, you know, let let your body recovery a little bit because uh, the fight for itself was not you know too aggressive but the training camp it's always uh bring to you a lot you know not 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 a not a big deal but 
it always bring to you some little injuries, uh, some some personal problems. Not a problem, but you know you got to fix that. So just take some couple of days off and then back because I'm a, I'm addictive. I'm, I I love train. I love uh, spend time with uh, with my my uh, fight family. I love to I love my routine. I love to to train every day. I love to uh, to help my 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 uh, my partners. So uh, yeah, couple of days off then back to the work. Thank you. Congratulations on an incredible performance. Thank you so much. Jason? Hey, Woody, congratulations on a massive win Thank you. for you. Uh, talk to us. Michael C. Uh, Williams, when he was introducing you, said you were trying to establish yourself as a welterweight. Do you feel like you've done that now? Well, I just beat a top five, or top five uh, fighter. So I think, uh, yeah, I think I did. As well, obviously, a fantastic uh, performance for you. And the finish. Talk about the finishing sequence where... You took four or five shots from Neiman. Was that just to set him up to land the uppercut? Yeah, some big drama show. Um, that thing that I did, it was just a, you know, it's a part of the, the fight business. You got, you got to fight not just the physically, but you got to fight the, the, the mental, the mental thing. And that, that, that drama show was just to, to show him I, I can take these shots for the, for the whole fight. Uh, bring it, bring everything that you have, and um, you know it is just a, a mental thing, and I, I think that that worked. And as well, obviously, we've known you as being such a high level of a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu player, but talk about becoming like a solid striker. Your two of your last three wins are now using your striking. Like, was it something just falling in love with striking? Uh, because your striking has looked fantastic your last couple times out here in Bellator. Thank you. Well, I think. I always knew that, you know, uh, your power comes with your, you know, with your maturity, with your age. The most important thing to develop when you're young, it's your defensive skills, your grappling skills, because this is really hard to get. So, and the power comes with the age, with the maturity, with the, your, 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 your muscle maturity. And, and I think um, I'm, I'm being able to, to knock these people out because, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a grow up man. I have strong and powerful muscles i can you know i can i can turn off anybody in this division I have a very very dangerous hand so um yeah don't blink um i'm almost 30 and this age it's uh will be my my, my prime i'll be very dangerous not not just on the on the ground but on the feet my grab my i i i'm not even sh show my 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 grappling my grappling abilities in this weight class. My last fight was just too fast, and I think even more, even even better than than, than my striking game was uh, my my ground game. Just such a, an, an incredible level. I'm I'm in, in incredible shape. Um, hopefully, in, in the next fights, I'm 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 be able to to show my my grappling skills because um, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. There's a lot of you know, there's there's a lot of room to 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 grow. I'm still, like I said, I still feel that I don't I don't know much about the game. As it's all about being humble and and develop develop yourself every day. And you you know, I'm I go to the gym every day and and I'm always learning. And I'm a, I'm so it's such a amazing feeling that you can learn and 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 get better every day. So um, yeah, I want to show the people, the fans, and for, for Bellator then I have a lot of new skills and uh, 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 a, a new way to fight. And as well, you talked about all week, this was an important fight for you fighting, not only Neem Gracie, but a Gracie. And after the fight, I saw you speaking with Henzo Gracie. What did he say to you after that fight? Well, Henzo, I think Henzo is the most incredible, not fighter, but person that I ever met in my life. I. I love the man. I love him like he was my family. I have a, such a such a big love and respect for for Renzo Gracie. Um, he's a role model for me. Since I was a, a little kid, um, I got a little bit um, emotional after the fight because um, 
you know, such a such honor being over there and fighting against uh, his family and just shaking my hand and give me a um, a hug. But it was, you know, different. It was not just a, um, I'm okay, you're good. Congratulations it was like a spiritual th thing. Renzo Grace is a is a, is amazing. And I I told him after if I if you, if you give me the the opportunity to spend five minutes drinking beer with you 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 be um, it's a, it's a it's a it's a dream come true to me. Um, he's one of the best person that I ever met in my life. Steven? Well, are you guys getting a beer together? Excuse me. Are you guys getting a beer together, Renzo? Hof Renzo? <laughs> Hopefully, uh, if I find him in the hotel, I will I, I will invite him because uh, I got to find him. Got to find him. He's a very busy uh, person. Got a lot of stuff to do, but if I have this opportunity, it would be, it would be amazing. Fair enough. Hope, hope you get the beer. Um, yeah, thank you. I see, you, you mentioned the, the, the big drama show, and, and you said you did it in the gym all the time. But I, I feel like we, we haven't seen it a lot, you know, that, that kind of showmanship. Is that a, are you making a, a conscious effort to sort of make a different impression on MMA fans in general with all the experience that you've been through in this promotion? Um, yeah, um, we, we, we come to, 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 to bring entertainment for, 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 for people, for fans. We, we got to, to make, we have the obligation to make the, the, the fight more excited possible. And um, I'm always think about it. I'm always think about being a you know a better performer and a better fighter to uh because this business is not not it's not much about ourselves we got to um our my my contribution for 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 people for for the support it's uh give the the the, the best performance possible i got to entertain these people and uh not just inside the cage but outside the cage we we, we got to do it like I said, it's uh, I feel like obligated to do that, and I. That's a it's a it's a good obligation. I feel happy to 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 serve people with my, with my performance, with my my fights style. And and why Triple G? Why not um, Muhammad Ali or Prince Nazim or any of the other big showmen out there? Well, because I think he's uh, he's a fighter of my generation, and I watch him a lot. Just you know. He likes to say that, right? Uh, yeah. Back in the days, uh, I used to watch a lot of us, uh, his fights, and he, he inspired me a lot in some part of my career. Now, I'm not watching him too much now. I still still like him. Still a big fan. Still still watching him. But um, there's a there's a there's a time that he was fighting very often, and um, I used to. I used to watch him a lot, especially at that time, uh, a little bit before he fought Canelo. So, yeah, he's a big inspiration for me, and I hope I bring, uh, I bring uh, several times the, the the big drama show. Well, big congrats on the big drama show. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ed. Hi, uh, congratulations on the win. Um, Thank you. The uh, you kind of mentioned your strategy and going beast mode in the second round. Um, but I'm wondering if, if in the first round, because you, you did hurt him and drop him in the first round, and, uh, or, and you went for underhooks and took him down, I'm wondering if that was you being overly cautious before you went beast mode, and did you feel something from him that made you switch gears? Yeah. Like I said, I think, I, I believe, I'm a great believer that you, you know, I don't. I don't believe in strategies. I. I believe in adapt. Just like Bruce Lee said, um, being like water, you gotta adapt for for the all kind of situations. Because I know my training camp. I know what what I what I'm gonna do. But I don't know what he's going to do. Neiman, he's a he's a hell of a fighter. He's a hell of a grappler. But you know, in the in the last couple of fights, he's just a striker. So. You have to, you know, you got to weigh the, uh, all kind of situations, and I, I kind of, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't see what he he wanted to do because I, 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 I know he was, you know, he was with a strategy, but 
um, like I said, I'm, I'm a great believer. It's all about me. It's all about what I want to do, what I, what I want to do. Not much about my, my opponent. So, and th that's what I did. I took him down. I, you know, I got with the, the great shots. I took him down twice. Um, still proving that I'm getting better with uh, my wrestling game. Um, like I said, uh, moving up to welterweight made, made me a, a, a much better grappler. I got some important muscles to my grappling game, so still have a lot to, to, to show. Thank you. Thank you, Gorchi. Thank you so much. See you next time.